Bonds formed on a football field are synonymous with those of a large family. For Keenan Allen, the additions to the roster of two players have brought the family straight into the locker room. Keenan Allen burst onto the scene with a breakout freshman campaign last season. And now he's trying to wait and see what he can do. Turns up field. Now against the green, and it's a sprint. Keenan Allen, true freshman, true touchdown. His first for the Cowboys. We can expect even greater things from Allen now with half-brother Zach Maynard under center. He looked good, uh, better than he did in the spring. Um, it was just a work in progress, though. Well, I feel a lot better about the playbook. Um, Taking off last year and getting a chance to grow physically and mentally um, on the field, as well as academically, get my units corrected. And uh, I feel a lot better. Um, spring ball helped me a lot going into the fall. Now I feel more comfortable with the plays and my guys. We have a better chemistry with each other. Keenan being Zach's brothers obviously gives a, a, a one two punch. It's pretty good. They know each other pretty well. They live, they live together. So you always like to have that. And uh, we're fortunate enough to have that um, for us. Should be exciting. His athletic ability is top notch. Um, he's got great vision on the field. Um, and the neat thing with Zach is every day in spring, he got better. You know, it was literally every day got better. His anticipation and his leadership is, is, is really shown throughout the offseason after the spring ball. And, you know, he, he only he's only had a, a spring with us. So this we're going to take this fall to take that next step. Maynard played two years at Buffalo before transferring to Cal and redshirting last season. The oh. two were teammates growing up and are used to shredding defenses together. Dynamic duo. It was, <laughs> it was really unfair. Uh, we had a solid team. There was one thing in particular that attracted the Greensboro, North Carolina natives to Berkeley. Coach Teffer was uh, one of the best um, quarterback coaches in, uh, in the nation, so I just thought it would be best for him, and I just thought wherever I went, I was going to try to do my best and try to have him out. Coach Teffer is a great quarterback coach, put out a lot of big names. That's why we know Aaron Rodgers won the Super Bowl. He went here, great alumni. Um, that was a great university. Um, you have the chance to win big games. It's not just the brothers that made the trek to Berkeley. True freshman and cousin of Maynard and Allen, Maurice Harris, joins the receiving corps. I chose the right place as far as academics and athletics, so I think I made the right choice. I get to play with my family, so that's always a plus. Oh, you're looking pretty good to be a freshman. I'm coming out strong, uh, big target. Um, always in the film room, going over his plays, and he got us with him, so he asking us questions all the time. He's de developing fast. I feel like we all got different aspects, so I feel like I catch the best. Keenan is probably faster, and obviously Zach got the arm. So with us together, you know, we have a, a good good team. It's been real good, uh, especially uh, all of us playing together. Uh, something that we've been trying to accomplish for a long time. Now we finally got to do it. Always won. Along with Keenan Allen, Maynard has some reliable targets to choose from. Marvin Jones led the way with 50 catches for 765 yards last season. Allen was second on the team with 490 yards. Michael Calvin and tight end Anthony Miller both contributed in the aerial attack. For more on the offense, we kick it to Barry Tompkins standing by in our studio. All right, thanks very much, Coz. Well, the Cal offense is going to be a different one than we've seen at any time in the Jeff Tedford era. Zach Maynard is going to be the quarterback, and he does give the Bears a very different look. He can run with the football. He's a guy who's going to get out of the pocket. He seems to throw better on the move. Not the most accurate passer in the world. They'll design some plays to use Zach Maynard's feet, and you know they're going to have to because the biggest question mark for Cal this year, who's going to play running back? Who's going to be the guy that's going to carry the load? There there is no Marshawn Lynch. There is no Javid Best. There is no Shane Vereen this year. E.C. Safile is going to be the number one running back, and he's not really a guy who can run over people. They're going to have to find someone who could do that. It's going to be running back by committee for the Bears this year. The X factor for the Bears, the offensive line. It's good. At least the starters are good. But if either one of those tackles goes down, the Bears could have a big problem. Good work. Keep the up-tempo. Let's get it. You want to know what it's like to be a middle linebacker? We got you covered when we mic up the men in the middle. The offense may have underperformed last season, but the defense did not. Leading the Pac-10 in yards allowed per game, passing yards allowed per game, and sacks per game. Now, with a veteran group on the defensive side of the ball, we can expect much of the same tenacious D this season. You know, with family, we all play good. We've been here for the same amount of time. All of us, you know, seniors and everything, we're, 
We're comfortable. The Cal defense thrived under first-year coordinator Clancy Pendergast. Now, with a year under his belt, the players have a better grasp of his system. This is our second year going into the same defense. Last year was kind of see, you know, how everybody fit in the scheme and everything. But now that we, uh, it's our second year until we should play just fast and mistake-free and hopefully, you know, come back as the best defense in the Pac-12. We led the conference last year in defense, so we want to, obviously, that's the goal that we shoot for. And uh, really just to win more games than we did last year. That's the, that's the main focus for this team right now. Middle linebacker D.J. Holt returns for his senior campaign, and Cal's active tackle leader Michael Kendricks makes the switch from outside to inside linebacker. It's comfortable, you know, to know that you got guys like that behind you who, you know, if there is a chance that there's a mistake, you know, they have the athleticism and the ability and the talent to, to make up for that, you know. We have leaders and, and guys that kind of lead the whole defense at every level, so they're definitely our two, two big heads on the defense, and, um, you know, we're going to be out there uh, going to be out there making some noise. The middle linebackers are the heart and soul of any defense. For the Cal Bears, the men in the middle are seasoned veterans who are hungry to leave their mark entering their final seasons. You could say that the level of anticipation is quite high. I'm excited, man. We got senior season, two of the best linebackers in the pack. Uh, at and Park, you know, we're ready. We want this. We want it more than anybody. Hey, 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 hey. The seniors have grown together over the years, which has allowed them to form a special bond both on and off the field. I can't do my job without DJ and vice versa. I can't, he can't do his without me. And uh, so on the field, no competition. Off the field, social life. Yeah. I mean, all good competition. Like, it's all out of love. Like, yeah. this is my boy. Like, yeah. one of my best friends, without a doubt. Like, you know, we look out for each other off the field. And, you know, every now and then we might, you know, bump into one of each other and see if he's strong still. You know, we wrestle a little bit, you know, see if he's going to hold his ground, you know. And then, you know, we size up one another. And then at the end, you know, we, you know, we hug each other, give each other a handshake. Like, hey, you know, it's all love. You know, that's just how it is. Good work. Keep the up tempo. Let's get it. He's moving just as fast as I am right now, like at a heavier weight. I'm 235 right now, he's 245 moving. So, I mean, great improvement on DJ's end to, to, to pick his speed up. And now he's moving better than I've ever seen him move. Like, it's gonna be hard to stop us. Speed kills, I mean, that's just how it is. And, you know, in football, if you have speed, the man with the most speed will, you know, Usually win majority, yeah, majority of the time. And, you know, I see that in Mike, you know. Uh, you know, I had to, I figure I had to lose some weight to get down, you know, I'm trying to, I'm keeping up with him, you know, he's fast, you know, definitely one of the most athletic guys on the team, you know, pound for pound, but, you know. You I'm, up there, bro. Yeah. Trust, trust <laughs> me. He brings a lot of energy to the field, you know, he's passionate about the sport as I am, you know, and, uh, you know, some days you're not going to be, you know, 100% or ready, you know, you, you know, you need somebody to help get you motivated. My stomach hurts. Though every day might not be easy, the two hard hitters have assumed the leadership role. You know, it's our last season. You know, we were looking forward to this day when we first got here. Hey, get low on this. I'm talking about below his knees. This is an ankle tackle. This is a gator roll. People feed off the linebackers. You know, if the linebackers are, you know, motivated. And, it's a special, special, exactly. special position. Something about it says leader. Cal's defense was impressive last season. You already met the middle linebackers, but don't sleep on the Cal secondary. They returned Mark Anthony, who led the Bears with two picks. Sean Catoose was a Pac-10 honorable mention, and they also returned Trevor Guyton on the D-line, who contributed four and a half sacks. Now, let's get you back to the studio where Barry Tompkins breaks down the Cal D. You know, I got to say, I never thought that I'd be saying this about a Jeff Tedford football team, but I think the strength of this Cal team is on the defensive side of the ball. In fact, I think the front seven is going to be outstanding. The question mark, what happens in the secondary? I think the safeties are going to be strong, but the real X factor for the Bears in the secondary is going to be at the corners. They gave up a lot of big plays last year, and the other thing that this Cal defense is going to have to do is force turnovers, something it didn't do last year. I do think think though that the defense is good enough that if the offense scores 21 points more often than not the Bears can win.